The two commandments that Jesus gave, love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. The golden rule came from Jesus Christ. So my friends, what will it take? What will it take to open up your heart today? What will it take to consider God's love for you today? What will it take to consider the cross? What will it take to consider the cross? God has great love. It's, it's above you, sir. Good job, man. Good job. Praise God. Woo. Hands get tired holding that. No, that's just cool. That's great. What's your name? Robert. I'm David. Nice to meet you. Please, please meet you, David. And your name? Tessie. Pleasure. I'll pray for you guys, okay? Let the Lord keep anointing you. Thank you. Okay, you're in my prayers. Thank you. Do you fellowship at a church, Robert? I'm, I'm one, I'm a, I go to the St. John's Church. But I have great respect for people like you that do this. Well, here, take one of these. This is our, uh, we're an outreach ministry, and Thank it's you. something to think about, how to have assurance of salvation through Jesus. Thank you, man. Because, you know, in Catholicism, there's always like this place where it's like, oh, you don't know if you're really going to make it. But the Bible says that if we repent of our sins and become born again, we never have to be afraid that we're going to lose salvation. So it's a, there's a difference between biblical Christianity and some of the things that are in the, yeah. the catechism and stuff. Okay, well, keep doing it, man. Okay, take, take care. You guys. Take care. Got a, hmm? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Especially after bowling. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. What's that? I said, oh, who are those people? Science and creation testify about God, Jesus welcomes all the people. Church of Pentecost or something, I think. <laughs> Some bright solar person is looking at your cross. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. <sighs> My friends, the answer to everything going on in life, it's all... Atheism, yeah! Why, why atheism? Because you're spouting this bullshit. I have my freedom of speech. Why do, why do you hate God? Why do you hate God? I don't know. Why do you love him? Because he died for my sins. Why? Why do you want to buy? Are you scared to talk? We could have a we could have a real conversation. I doubt it. it. Seems like you're pretty scared. No, I doubt it. It seems like you're scared because somewhere in your heart you know that there's going to be a day you appear before God, and you're going to have to give an account for your sin. And if you don't repent and make Jesus the Lord of your life, to record me. it's public. No, it's not. Yeah, it is actually. This is actually going to be your personal property. You see, this is that's your personal property. It is. I'm on your personal property, and I know the law. This is a public yeah. place. Yeah, we're from Tucson. I mean, Good. we're here all the time. Awesome. So, what's keeping you from believing in Jesus? I mean, you're the one that called out atheism, so I thought yeah. I'd talk to you. Because it's an open point of view. I don't have to be restricted to your rules. Why do you, but why atheism? Why not a Santa Clausism? I answer your question, you can move on. Were you raised a Christian? It doesn't matter how I was raised. Well, usually people turn to atheism because they were either in some kind of like false Christianity or they didn't like the rules of Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, aren't I? No. No? <laughs> no? What were you raised? I was raised in the church. What Christian church or what kind of church? A church full of shitty church. So, like I said, fake religion. It wasn't, did they believe that uh, it's by grace you're saved? Yeah. yeah. Through Christ you're saved. That, this is Christ. You're in Christ. Those are their proudings, and they were wrong. Why, why is it wrong? I just told you. But I just told you. Like, do you believe, you do you, have you ever told a lie? English, have you ever lied? You do you believe in, oh. <laughs> do you believe in God? Do you still? No. no. So pretty much you turned against God in rebellion because you love sin. No. Then why don't you believe in God? Well, 
But that, but that's not God's fault that they're hypocrites. That's their fault. That's their fault. So, and sometimes we're judging. I, I don't know your situation for all. It could be that these people were total jerks, or it could be that. The Bible is full of contradictions. Name one. Noah's Ark. Huh? Noah's Ark. How's that? That's not a contradiction. You can't find it. Huh? There's, there's no history. There's no actual physical history of that existence. Did you know that the Assyrian Empire was destroyed into like literal dust by the Romans? The Romans de de demolished cities that we know that were there historically, but we don't can't find them. They just demolished a boat that no one knows where it's actually at. I'm saying a, a book or a boat made of wood. A boat made of wood, 4,000 years old. Is that's a long time. So let's deal with other things. What about Jesus Christ? Deflection. I made him deflect. That's interesting. That's not a contradiction. It's, it's not a contradiction. Huh? It's a deflection. It's not actually addressing. What about the person of Jesus Christ? What about the fact that he claimed to be the savior of the world? What about the fact that he actually died on the cross for your sins? What? He did exist? No, I said he would have to. So, well, he did exist. There's documentation outside of the church, inside the church, and say that the world is flat, though, too, right? No, there's not. Yes, there is. People believe that. Huh? People believe it. Well, those people aren't aren't actually looking for the truth. They're in cults. But you're in the cult of atheism. You need to repent and turn to Jesus. I'm good. I'm happier now. No, that's a deception. Hi, guys. What are your names?